He's now one for five from the floor. That was the three-pointer that he made earlier in this half. Up top, and a rim rattler for more. Sherrod was the leading scorer for the Spiders in their loss on Wednesday at home against Vermont with 14 points. He made four threes, and it's more again. A Buckingham, and a nice job on that screen and roll. Once again, no one up there who can actually go get this lob. Terrence Thompson trying to establish some position. He's number 20. Wilbekin on the drive. He got fouled. Count the basket for Wilbekin. You know, Wilbekin, when he gets it, just a straight line drive. If you're Richmond, you have to do a better job than that. Golden didn't help. Uh, the rest of the guys just watching defensively and transitioning. When they are set up in the half court, they're a solid team defensively, especially with the rim protector. And Mr. Moore. He has zero help by K.O. That's why they went 9-9 nine and nine in a very challenging ACC schedule and got to the NCAA tournament. Up top, alley -oop. The jam from Eggleston. Get out in the transition. Get some easy, fast breaks. Holden with 12 for the Richmond Spiders. Mitchell, a little fall away. Passed away in July of 07. Also head coach at Xavier. This is a runaway jam. Brian Crawford. Last visit to the tournament for the Spiders back in 2010 and 11. Foul on the three-point attempt. Passing lane, and this time hits him on the end of the wrist, but all you see is the flick of the wrist. <laughs> Does have a rebound for Richmond. Spiders a little bit overmatched this afternoon as Mitchell extends the range for the three-pointer and eight points. Losses against Georgia Southern and Liberty. They have made up for it, though. Moore with a block. That's another one to add to the total in the game for the Demon Deeks. They're up to seven blocks.